Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy and today our expert trainer will be discussing about AWS cloud formation that includes infrastructure as code. So make sure you're watching the video till the end. So let's begin with the cloud formation. Very interesting one. This is the symbol for cloud formation and it is basically the easiest way you can create and manage a collection of AWS resources. And it is done via the code. The biggest benefit of working in cloud formation is, like suppose say if you have got a infrastructure set or a resource set, which is required to be deployed again and again and is required to be replicated without any change or with little changes at your multiple locations. Then you can create a template of your application or your infrastructure code which is required. And whenever required, you can execute that application and build a stack of resources via it. So you can create a template. The template is basically written in either JSON or YAML language. And then you can deploy that template and can create a stack of resources from that template, which you can manage either via GUI or via APIs or via console. You can deploy them and then you can start managing them from wherever you want. With the help of cloud formation, you will be able to create the whole template as a text file. And whenever you execute that template, the infrastructure resources will be created. When we are working with the template, you basically need to have a little bit, you know, understanding to the programming languages like JSON or YAML. If you do not have that understanding, and also you can work in Amazon Cloud Formation, but then your visibility will be little lesser. So as a solution architect, it is okay because we are at a very beginning level. So uh, we will be understanding the cloud formation and we will be creating the resource. I'll help you to understand in the best possible way how you can create your own templates also. But then if you create the things manually or you create the resources manually by going on to the CLI or onto the console, it consumes a lot of time to do that. But with, with the help of cloud formation template, you can create and you can manage the resources from a single place, all the resources, whether it is a VPC, VPN, EC2 instance, all can be managed from a single place. We also call it as infrastructure as a code service, IAC. No resources are required to be created manually. You can do it via the code. And if you talk about the cost, you are not required to pay anything for creating the template. But when you deploy the template, you will be creating a stack of resources. So whatever resources are created in the stack, like suppose say you have created an EC2 instance or maybe you have created a net, NAT gateway or whatever you have created. For those resources, whatever charges are there, you have to pay that. The templates that you create is a reusable set of code which can be reused again and again as and when required. Okay? So it not only improves your productivity because you do not have to recreate the things again and again on a manual basis. You can create the infrastructure on a fly just by executing a text file and everything will be done. It even automatically creates the diagrams for you, for your template. Now you'll be able to make sense out of this. The cloud formation components, cloud formation template components are, there is a JSON or a YML file which you have written wherein you can create the 
infrastructure resources via the code once it is created via the stack update you can even update the stack by creating the change stack if there is an error the rollbacks can happen and you can deploy the resources for your application by using the cloud formation when you are working with cloud formation there are two things template and the stack the template is nothing but a cloud formation formatted text file which is either represented in json or in yml which describes what aws infrastructure will be deployed by using the cloud formation you can even do the designing of the same thing in the cloud formation designer page also once you have created the template which will majorly consist of the version description metadata mapping conditions everything was there in our template which majorly consist of these things if required you can even go for parameters i'll show you that example also like it has been a json code written over here we are working with yml so you can define the parameter like in my case the parameter name is key pair and you are required to give the name of the key pair for launching the ec2 instance so over here with the m3 medium machine with an ami ami id this the key pair that will be associated will be one which is provided by the user while running the template and this is how you can define the properties of the ec2 instance which you are launching so this is what is known as stack set in aws cloud if you are like suppose if you have created one stack which is actually nothing but a collection of aws resources so if you have created a stack and you want to call it or bring it inside something some other stack then you can create a stack set wherein this is known as your root stack which is parent of this child stack and this child stack again why is the parent for this and this child stack so this is known as nesting of stack the resources that you have created via the stack via the cloud formation template can be nested together with the help of stack set stacks can be nested with one another and this results into the hierarchy of stack which is possible the top level is known as root stack and all the other stack belong to the root stack root stack is the parent of these two y is the parent of this and this child so z is the child of y and y is the child of x this is how you define every nested stack has a parent stack and in case of the first level the root stack is the parent stack okay so you can see all this kind of relationship between the various resources on to your design so guys this was our expert from team k21 academy and if in case you missed upon any concept and if you want to dive deeper to any concept then we have something really 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 special for you we have our free class on aws devops for beginners certification along with some demo in this free class you'll be learning about why learn devops and on aws cloud what is aws devops who should be learning about it ci cd pipelines you'll be getting a demo you'll also be getting some hands on labs and job opportunities as well so in order to register for this free class all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash aws devops 02 and after that you'll be seeing this kind of interface you just have to click on book your free seat now and Add your event state according to your availability, enter your name, your email address, your phone number and click on yes save my seat. 
Moving ahead, you'll be seeing this kind of URL on the extreme right. Save that URL, add it to your calendars, save it, and I will see you in the free class. Till then, keep learning.